Analysis, Man UTD Brentford. Is it time for Eric Ten Hag to be sacked? Welcome to today's VAR 360 News Bulletin. Dear friends, on October 19th, Manchester United will host Brentford at home in the eighth round of the Premier League. After recent disappointing results and with manager Eric Ten Hag's position temporarily secure, Red Devils fans are eager to see the response from Ten Hag and his players after the two-week international break. The challenge is significant, as the opponent is in quite good form. Additionally, the home team's squad situation is not very promising. Therefore, if the Dutch strategist wants to prove himself worthy of the management's trust, he must secure all three points. Otherwise, who knows what might happen. Without further ado, let's join VR360 for the pre-match analysis of this weekend's game. If you appreciate our content, please subscribe and support us more. First, let's review the preparations of both teams. After a two-week break for international duty, Manchester United fans are undoubtedly eager to see manager Eric Ten Hag and his team in action. Especially after going five matches without a win, coupled with their worst start after seven rounds in the Premier League era, having only eight points. Despite rumors of dismissal, Ten Hag's position remains secure for now, with management awaiting his response before making a final decision. The fixture list from now until the end of October is extremely congested, with matches every two to three days. Therefore, without careful planning, the Red Devils' entire season could potentially fall apart in the next two weeks. Clearly, Manchester United's recent performances have been unacceptable. While the defense is relatively stable, with four clean sheets, the attack has only outscored newly promoted Southampton, and the strikers seem to have forgotten how to score. This will be a challenging problem if the Dutch strategist wants to regain the joy of victory this weekend. Although temporarily safe, according to British media reports, Ineos is still closely monitoring all of Eric Ten Hag's team's matches. Improvement is mandatory. The first goal is to secure three points in the home game against Brentford. The challenge is not easy against an opponent in good form, but Manchester United currently has no room for retreat. 14th place in the league table is certainly not what fans want to see after the 8th round. Therefore, nothing short of victory will be enough to satisfy everyone. As for the Bees, after a season struggling with relegation battles, Thomas Frank's team is showing quite impressive form, with 10 points after the first 7 rounds and sitting in 11th place in the league table. An interesting detail is that in their last 4 matches, Brentford has always scored within the first 2 minutes meaning that right after the referee's opening whistle, the players surge forward to attack and secure an early lead. This is precisely what Manchester United needs to be wary of if they don't want to be at a disadvantage from the start. Despite taking early leads, the London representatives have only managed to gain four points from these four matches, having been defeated by Man City and Tottenham Hotspur, held to a draw by West Ham, and participating in a dramatic goal fest against Wolverhampton before winning 5-3. The Bees' goal difference is also perfectly balanced, with 13 goals scored and 13 conceded by goalkeeper Mark Flecken. Therefore, with their aggressive style from the start, Brentford hopes to gain an advantage before defending tightly against Manchester United's weak attack. Next, let's look at the team news before kickoff. After a relatively stable period in terms of squad, the Old Trafford hosts are beginning to experience a nightmare similar to last season, with injuries starting to pile up. In addition to three long-term absentees, Luke Shaw, Malasia, and Lenny Yoro, Harry Maguire had to leave the field early due to injury in the match against Aston Villa. According to updates from the player himself, he will need about two to three weeks to fully recover. Additionally, Nusair Mazraoui will not be able to play for the rest of October, as he has just undergone minor surgery to treat a heart rhythm disorder. During the recent international break, three more players were sent back to the club, Kabi Mainu, Alejandro Garnacho, and Ahmad Diallo. It's unclear how serious the situation is for these three players. But it's likely that manager Eric Ten Hag won't risk them, given the congested fixture list. Two other cases? Lissandro Martinez and Rasmus Hoyland are also reported to have suffered injuries while on international duty, but without any serious issues. 
Mason Mount may return for the upcoming match after recovering from a head injury he sustained during the home game against Tottenham Hotspur in the sixth round of the Premier League. However, with at least eight cases of uncertain availability, coupled with the compromised fitness of many key players after international duty, the Dutch strategist is facing numerous problems before hosting the Bees. How will he overcome this, or will it be another disappointing performance from the whole team? As for Brentford, this past summer they officially parted ways with their number one goalkeeper David Raya, as Arsenal decided to pay 31.9 million euros to sign him permanently. Additionally, top striker Ivan Toni also left the club to join Saudi Arabia's Al Ahli in a deal worth 42 million euro. With the relatively abundant funds received, the London representatives have brought in quite a few quality new signings, including Gustavo Nunes from Gremio, Sepp Vandenberg, and Fabio Carvalho from Liverpool. However, the B's core still relies on veteran names such as the striker duo Johan Wissa and Brian Mbomo, midfielders Christian Nurgaard and Mikkel Damsgaard. In defense, goalkeeper Mark Flecken, along with the centre-back pair of Pinnock and Collins, are the most reliable names in the club's backline. Nevertheless, for the trip to Old Trafford this week as we'd, manager Thomas Frank is likely to be without seven players, including Matthias Jensen, Johan Wissa, Gustavo Nunes, Rico Henry, Aaron Hickey, Igor Tiago, and Josh De Silva. This will be a challenging puzzle for the Danish strategist if he wants to gain points at the Theatre of Dreams while continuing to maintain his unbeaten record. Regarding head-to-head -head history, Manchester United and Brentford have faced each other a total of 19 times, with the record heavily favoring the Red Devils, with 10 wins, 3 draws, and 6 losses. The first time the two teams met was on January 14, 1928, when the Red Devils won convincingly with a score of 7-1 in the FA Cup. As Brentford often struggled in lower divisions, the two teams didn't have many opportunities to face each other. After their last meeting in September 1975 in the League Cup, it wasn't until January 19, 2022, nearly 47 years later, that the two teams met again. Last season, at Old Trafford, the red half of Manchester staged a dramatic comeback with a 2-1 victory thanks to Scott McTominay's double, igniting the Old Trafford crowd. In the return fixture, the script was equally cinematic when Mason Mount scored his first goal in his new colors in the 90-plus 6th minute, seemingly securing three points for the visitors from Manchester. However, three minutes later, in the 90-plus 9th minute, Ajayar scored the equalizer, concluding 100 thrilling minutes at the GTEC Community Stadium. Next, let's join VAR 360 for some fun odds analysis and result predictions. But remember that those who bet are the losers, while those who don't bet are the winners, though we're not sure what they win. Regarding goal predictions, in the last six matches between the two teams, there have been goals scored in all of them, with an average of three goals per match. Therefore, given the contrasting form of both sides, they might deliver an open game with many goals. Our prediction is that we'll see score lines like 2-1 or 3-1, with the final victory going to Eric Ten Hag's team as they look to regain the fans' trust after recent poor results. What about you? What's your prediction? Remember to leave it in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please support the VAR360 production team by liking, subscribing, and turning on notify.